Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 4th. Uh, this week, we're going to just jump right in here and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time, Taurus. Uh, looks really good for money already. Um, <laughs> you have this money path card and it says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So there you go. Uh, it's been like, you know, it's kind of interesting because it's been a little bit of a treasure hunt week. It's like all the readings have been, you know, kind of like a treasure hunt. Let's put it that way. So I would definitely, you know, keep your eyes peeled for any um, opportunities that could come your way. Uh, by the way, there will be a part two in the description down below. But you have this sea turtle card. It says stability on it. I do feel like you are clearly looking for stable situations in your life in general. I feel like this is something you're looking for because you have the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is a card of analysis. It's like looking at multiple situations that could be going on in your life, like relationships, businesses, jobs, you know, friendships, whatever. And you're like saying, is this stable or not? <laughs> so uh, there you go. Uh, that's what I feel like you're doing here. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Hierophant here. The Seven of Pentacles is, again, a card of analysis. He's looking at those pentacles and he's like saying, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is this leading to fulfillment or not with the Nine of Cups? I feel that you in particular need to be very careful of like the energy that you are putting yourself in. I feel like this is very true right now. To me, Neptune and Pisces, we have Neptune and Pisces. To me, Neptune and Pisces is like manifestation on steroids. We manifest things very, very quickly uh, with Neptune and Pisces. So for like, if we are soaking in a negative energy, we are going to definitely attract some negative energy. If we're soaking in positive energy, we're going to attract some positive things. So the Nine of Cups to me is like one of those energies. To me, it's also kind of like a side effect energy, meaning that, um, you know, that, you know, I don't think we have to be thinking about necessarily everything we want. Like, let, let, let's say you want like money, love. We all want m multiple things, right? We want money. We want love. We want uh, a car. We want a dog, whatever, right? You probably want multiple things. It's like you probably only need to kind of bathe in one energy of like love or happiness or joy, right? You don't have to like think, you know, I don't think you have to like you know, spend a ton of energy with the dog, spend a ton of energy in a car, spend a ton of energy, you know, here, you don't, it's like, you don't have to do all the things. I think one thing is all you have to do with the nine of cups. I hope that makes sense. You also show up here, Taurus, with the Hierophant. Um, I do feel that a lot, like, I feel that your values are going to be very important. This is a word that came up like a couple of weeks ago, a lot for a lot of different signs. And I feel like you need to think about your values. Like, what do you value in life? What, what type of experiences do you want to have? And I would get very clear on that because you have the two of wands here to the page of swords. The page of swords, I feel like, is looking for something new um, in your reading. I feel like he's looking for this, this money path or whatever. And so I feel like you're looking for something new. Um, but maybe he's confused because his values are out of alignment or something. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna check that out in just a minute. You have this pair spirit says, watch your words. Um, pretty much everyone at this time has had something about like deception or a lack of clarity. I would definitely be careful of your words, be careful of the things that you say to people around you and people in your life. And you know, I just feel Again, part of me feels like watch your words about yourself, number one, like no negative self-talk or anything like that. But I, I would also watch what you're telling other people. I mean, for weeks, I've been getting these messages of like deception, you know, kind of like uh, hidden energy gossip, things like that. I, I don't think it's saying people are doing this to you. I feel like it's saying don't get involved in those things. I keep blaming, um, you know, Mars going retrograde this year. It's like a weird Mars retrograde. It's happening towards the end of the year in October. And, you know, you know I mean, like Will Smith, you see Will Smith the other day? <laughs> you know, it's like, like I've been saying, Will Smith clearly does not watch Mino Pontero and he should because I've been saying for weeks, you know, don't go, don't have any outbursts or anything like that in a Mars retrograde year. Yes, it's happening at the end of the year. I don't care. The energy dominates the entire year. And, and we see, you know, these outbursts and things like that happening and it just makes you look bad. So, you know, uh, somebody tell Will that, you know, it's time to watch Mino Pontero, right? But what I would say here is that you have the uh, High Priestess, the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this high priestess is a little bit of confusion. I feel like she is confused in your reading. I feel like she 
it's it, it's almost like she's confusing herself here. So I kind of feel like the high priestess is saying, don't confuse yourself here, Taurus. She is a card of potential. Something usually, you know, sometimes I get the high priestess and when she shows up in a reading, I feel like something is entering into your awareness, like as if something is like kind of poking into the side of your vision, right? Sometimes the high priestess comes up we become aware of like an opportunity. She's a card of potential. She represents unlimited potential as well, but it's kind of like just entering into our awareness. Like you get an idea to start a business, maybe you meet a person and you kind of get an idea to date that person or to see that person. So I, I kind of see like something entering into your awareness here. Um, and But it's like, it's almost like I would say, I feel like that card is saying, don't create stories around it. Sometimes I think we get an idea and we start creating these stories around it. And then when it doesn't go that way, we create these expectations and then those expectations break down, we get disappointed. So I feel like this is saying, allow it, you know, just allow it to go with the flow. Here's the other thing is you have the two of wands, allow it to surprise you. <laughs> the two of wands, you know, the thing about the two of wands is it's a card of leadership. He's standing at the top of this castle here uh, and he's kind of looking out into the world, but he thinks he knows everything, you know, and I'm not saying that you think this here, Taurus. Um, when he, sometimes when he shows up in a reading, to me, it says, allow yourself to be surprised. And I feel like I've said this to you like 20 times over the past few weeks. So, you know, definitely an energy that I feel is kind of around you. Like he is looking out into the world in front of him. He has the whole world in his hands, but he has created the world in front of him on the two of wands. And it's like, he is disappointed because he rushed to be successful. That world, it kind of says that, that he's holding on to, that there are many more experiences that he could have that are completely different than anything he's ever experienced before, but he needs to get out into the world. He needs to stop protecting himself at the top of the castle. So he's protecting himself there. So in a lot of ways, and not only that, you have the four of pentacles. I mean, four of pentacles holding on too tightly to you know the past, holding on too tightly to what you have always known, whatever you wanna call it. So I feel that this row is very simple. I feel like it's saying any new situation that enters into your life, something entering into your awareness, number one, don't automatically assume that it's gonna be like the past with the two of wands and just allow it to surprise you. Allow things to be different than what you've experienced in the past. Uh, you have this Vines card. It says, seek out information that will help you. There you go. And you have this money path. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So like I said, there's like a lot of this kind of treasure hunt energy going on in the astrology. I don't really feel like it's some sort of crazy treasure hunt, but I feel that there could be some, you know, I feel like there could be some opportunities that we don't really, that we aren't really paying attention to, that don't look like opportunities because they're brand spanking new and we don't pay attention and, you know, whatever. So I feel like we need to kind of like pay attention to opportunities that exist. Uh, how do we do that? Well, right here, uh, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is a card of curiosity. The thing with the Page of Swords is that usually it represents something that is exciting. You know, it could represent something that kind of, you know, pops into our head that we're like, hey, that's very exciting. You know, that kind of is interesting to me. It could just be something that enters into your awareness, right? You know, I, I always use the story of Bitcoin, right? My, my dad told me about Bitcoin in like... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm laughing now because, you know, I, I should probably um, be on my own private island somewhere because my dad told me like when it first came out, like 2008 or something like that, he had like a super ner nerdy friend that who, who probably lives on an island somewhere that we just don't even know about, uh, right? Because he knew about Bitcoin when it was like a dollar or something like that. And I always think about that because my dad told me about it. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like I wanted to learn more about it, but I just forgot about it. Just didn't even like look into it. Page of Swords. Page of Swords says, something enters into your awareness. You're like, hey, that's a good idea. That sounds interesting, right? You never know. You might find the next Bitcoin or, or, or something like that. But I'm not saying this has to be money. But what I would say here is that I would pay attention to you know anything that excites you, anything that you're kind of interested in, you know anything that kind of enters into your awareness. And you're like, hmm, I wanna learn more about that. And we even see that here. Uh, you have the hy Hierophant which is your card. The higher in, in the two of wands, which is saying, learn about something that you, that you could, you know, that could lead to something much better, but you know, allow it to surprise you, right? And so, uh, you know, the two of wands also kind of says like, you know, it could be like a little bit more to a situation. You also have the three of swords. Everybody's been getting the three of swords. I would definitely watch your health. Three of swords could also represent uh, a temporary situation, temporary sadness. So I would let go of any situations that are making you sad. And uh, finally, you have the Two of Pentacles here. I'm actually gonna pull another card because uh, I'm gonna pull another row because I wanna see what's going on here. But Two of Pentacles is about being busy. I kind of feel that you shouldn't be busy. 
<laughs> Normally with the Two of Pentacles, I, I love hard work with the Two of Pentacles. Normally with the Two of Pentacles, I feel that hard work is perfectly acceptable. But for whatever reason, I feel like this Two of Pentacles is saying, it's almost like saying focus would be a better option for you this week. Maybe like focusing on one thing. Uh, so let's get some more details here, Taurus. And let's see. You have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, being bold, being assertive, going for one thing here. I know what this is here, Taurus. You know, sometimes I think with the Queen of Wands, we start to add steps to something. Let's just pretend you want to start a billion, you want to start a business where you, you're an author or something like that, where you help people grow their business or something like that. I think sometimes we we put these, these steps in between our goal where we're like, well, you know, maybe you think, well, first I have to start a business so that I can be credible and all this other stuff. I'm not saying that's not true, but I just feel like there's some like extra steps you're putting in between your big goal. I feel like Queen of Wands is saying, nah, just go straight towards the big goal. Just just make it happen. Just do it. You don't need to add all that middle stuff in. Queen of Wands reminds me of imposter syndrome. And, and, and again, sometimes I think um, with imposter syndrome, we are perfectly capable of accomplishing something, but because we feel like an imposter for whatever reason, we're like, oh, let me do this, 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 and this, and this, and this in between before I do it. And you know, it kind of reminds me of people who are like, I want to uh, I want to go date people, but I'll do it when I lose weight or, you know, whatever, right? And I'm always like, just go now. It's like the different, like, aren't you're basically going to be the same person. It's like, continue to improve your health. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're still going to be the same person. So it's like, you might as well just go now. There's never going to be a perfect moment. And I kind of get that feeling for you here. I'm really surprised that the three of wands hasn't shown up in this reading. It's giving me those vibes of like waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. Queen of wands just goes for it. She doesn't care like what anyone thinks, right? Uh, middle row, page of wands, again, definitely time for you to take action. Uh, so this is definitely an action reading is what I would say to you. I feel like it's time for you to kind of just go. I, I get I get that feeling of really, you know, one of my favorite books of all time by James Altucher is uh, Skip the Line. And he talks about exactly what I'm talking about, skipping the line, just skipping all that middle stuff that you just don't need to do. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a card of mastery. See, it's like you have the skills necessary to do something. I feel like you just need to do it. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is also material success on the horizon. So uh, this is clearly a good money reading for you here, Taurus. I feel like there are improvements in your finances. Now we're going to see what that is. Uh, part two is in the description down below.